First of all, we're here to celebrate the 50 years of independence of Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. And it is an honor to be celebrating this event in the presence of President Museveni and so many distinguished leaders of other African nations. It's also a pleasure to be joined today by all of you for the inauguration of the Bujagali hydropower plant. It is not only a transformative development in the economic life of Uganda and of the continent, but it is also an inspiring model of how such change can best be accomplished. Let me give you one small example of the sort of issues that arose. The grid had to be linked to 100 kilometers of cable. And in order to do that, we had to cross 2,632 separate land parcels. That was just one small part of this vast endeavor. At its heart, the Bujagali project is a Ugandan project. It is a Ugandan success story. And again, I would like to thank the President for having led this initiative in a way where this unique private-public partnership was able to move forward. <laughs> but this is not only a Ugandan project. It's a global project. 37 different nationalities participated from around the world to make this project move forwards. The second point I would make is that this project has not stopped at the delivery of energy. It is investing in education. It's investing in healthcare. It's investing in social development. It's investing on all those aspects which improve the quality of life of people who live within the ambit of the project. And I think this is an important lesson to be learned because ultimately the goal is to improve the quality of life of people in the most complete manner possible. Modern life means industrialization modernization of agriculture, modernization of services, meaning hotels, banks, ETC, and a transformed human resource through education for all and through improved health care for all. That's what modern life means. However, all this cannot happen if there is no modernization of infrastructure, especially electricity, roads, the railways, piped water, ETC. How many people are dying because of lack of electricity? How many people are, living, are suffering without jobs because of lack of electricity? Uganda's economy has been growing at the rate of 6.5% per annum for the last 26 years without reliable electricity. With electricity, our economy will grow at a much faster rate. Now that we have security in the whole country, with the, with the maturing of our army, with adequate electricity, there is nothing that will stop Uganda from transitioning into a medium income country and eventually into a first world country in the next 50 years. It is now my pleasure to declare commission the Jagadi power station.